did you come up with the idea of painting this gemstone painting? Mm. Uh, that happened on 16th January 2016 in one uh, meditation. <laughs> and suddenly I got the inspiration to make a big gemstone painting of Lakshmi. And everything was clear to me in that meditation. How big it should be, exact measurements, size, uh, material, um, and, and the whole design, everything was already there. And uh, when did you decide to include Vera <laughs> in the process? <laughs> when did this happen? One, 2015 or something? 2016? I think it must have been 2016. Yeah. Because in 2015, I took the teacher's training from Anandachi in meditation to become trained as a meditation teacher. And, um, and she, I don't know if you had this already in mind, but, or if it came later, but then she invited me, she said like, let's make a deal. You come and take the teacher's training and I, um, and I take you as my helper, as an assistant for the painting mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so it happened. So how long it took you to paint it? And can you explain a little bit about the process? Yes. So the first step which uh, we did was we all came up with some designs. On one very special day we, we made a design of the painting. And, and then left it for some time. And then beginning of 2017 I went to India, to Jaipur and learned the technique of gemstone painting from a very, very uh, accomplished artist uh, in that technique, uh, Sunish Maru. So he taught me this technique, he and his wife. And then I came back and uh, in uh, last year, in February, then I made the, the real design for this painting. And in March we started with a gemstone painting. First I had to design a big, big scaffold because as far as I know nobody has done such big gemstone paintings before. Uh, the usual size is something like maximum like one meter. So we design, I designed a scaffold in which one can also turn it around and a special working table on which we can lie on our stomach and paint. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that was uh, transparent, so we worked from the top and looked at it from the bottom. And then we worked on it from, from March till it got uh, finished in December. So. And so in the meantime, there was a little summer break, but altogether it was almost one year from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. And Vera, how was this process for you? Oh, it was very joyful uh, to, you know, to live with Ananda, to work with her. And um, I would say like it was a big uh, expansion of joy in all directions. You know, we, we really lived in a bubble of creativity <laughs> where we had so much fun and uh, it was very light, you know, the whole process. And um, it just like everything fell into place somehow. And um, yeah, you know, we, we were always whistling or singing and cooking nice food. And, um, and then also we had some times of silence, so it was also um, a very introspective time. And it was very beautiful to try a different technique because I usually work with oil and egg tempera. And this to work with actual crystal is something very special because you feel it has, um, it's like a, a precious material. And when the sun hits it, uh, the painting or the material in a certain angle, it, everything glitters and it, it becomes very magical. Mm -hmm. And. Um, yeah, it was just amazing to see this big project to come into fruition. Yes. <laughs> okay, can you tell us um, a little bit about the motive, the, or the all, all the motives that you painted here? Yes. So, 
the painting uh, is called Lakshmi on the Lotus Throne and Lakshmi is uh, the in the Indian culture the goddess of fortune wealth and beauty the goddess of abundance so let us say she's the Indian Venus <laughs> mm -hmm. so she's in the middle and then we have we have here Ganesha and here Brahma, the creator god, and there Vishnu on his eagle, and there Shiva. So the three main deities of, of the Indian uh, of Hinduism are here, and then Ganesha and Devi. And here in the middle are some heavenly musicians, which are called Gandharvas. The owl is a symbol, she, uh, she is the, the vehicle or, or mount Lakshmi rides on an owl, that is why she is here. And how did you two work together? Did you like have um, a plan, for example, Vera will do this and you will do that, or you will collaborate? How was that, the process? Yeah, actually, to put the design on the on the mm, acrylic sheet uh, that we did together no? we put in the design the outlines with, with gold color we did that together and uh, when we worked with the gemstone paintings so each of us had their special areas so Vera for instance was doing all the, all the devas all around and uh, all the flowers and, and leaves <laughs> and this beautiful border around and she helped me with, with many other parts also and uh, I was doing mainly with Devi and the halo around and Vera did also the lotus throne everything which is in connection with the lotus throne so I did mainly the Devi and the halo and uh, the landscapes, the lotus flowers, the <laughs> lotus flowers, and the swans. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we shared. Sometimes it. we were working together, like mm -hmm. when, you know, we were working on this platform, which we could move over the painting, because it's a very large surface, right? So um, if we had the platform arranged in one area where we could both do something, like maybe Ananda on the left and I on the right, then we were working together. Mm -hmm. uh, but other times it was not possible. You know, towards the end it was more like, uh, okay, we have this area and, and we take turns. So we were doing shifts. <laughs> <laughs> and Vera, uh, do you plan to use this technique in the future? Because you're a painter, so... Oh yes, I would love to, definitely. Uh, one big advantage that I like very much about this technique is that one doesn't have so many brushes to wash. <laughs> Because you work with the glue <laughs> and you need only maybe one or two brushes in different sizes and then uh, it takes one minute to wash and then it's done. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's a big advantage. Yes. <laughs> and you don't get dirty as well. Mm -hmm. You have the, just um, the gemstone powder. It's a very clean job, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very pleasant to work with. In New Analogy, are you planning uh, in the future some other pictures? Oh, definitely. Thing? I have already in mind what I want to do next. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and what is the plan with this picture, with this painting? Uh, I want to sell it. And uh, I would like, if possible, that it goes to some place where the Devi is loved and worshipped and seen by many people if that's possible, or maybe some collectors will buy it, we will see. Mm -hmm. In uh, September, October 2019 or so, we go, I give it to a big auction house, so let's see. <laughs> Thank you for this interview. <laughs>
my